a lot of people right now some of them we may think they're living that purpose but the truth is a lot of people do not live that purpose some people are living the purpose of their pastors the purpose of their prophets the purpose of their parents the purpose of celebrities that they don't even know the purpose of people that they haven't even met in person because people are trying so hard to be a best version of somebody else the reason why each and every person in this globe or in this planet was created so unique was for the sole purpose the reason why you don't look like somebody else the reason why even people who are twins do not look the same is because each and every person was created to fit a particular piece of a puzzle there's a particular thing or there's a particular you know purpose that's uniquely made for you you were not made to be like the next person you were not made to copy you know the purpose of the next person and try to perfect it to be as if it's your own so nowadays pastors young people who are aspiring to be pastors young people who are aspiring to be doctors young people who are aspiring to be scientists they are not fully living the purpose of who god made them to be they are trying to in copy that, that actually copy what the the people who are uh, above them or the people that they're following or the people that are their role models are doing they themselves they haven't discovered what their purpose is they're just following the steps of people ahead of them and that kind of success is not a success of purpose because you are not pursuing what your purpose is you are pursuing you know somebody's purpose you are trying to perfect it i don't know if you get it one thing that the bible says is that each and every one of us is fearfully and wonderfully made when you are fearfully and wonderfully made it means that you have your own your own your own you know you old uh just it's just like a car that's custom made it, it has its own way in which it looks same thing with you consider yourself a custom made product a custom made product does not look is is it's not it's not some kind of an imitation of the next product it's just made to fit a certain way in which the owner of that custom made item visualize it to be the same thing with you your purpose is supposed to be uniquely your purpose it's not supposed to be a resemblance or kind of a, a better version of the next person's product that's exactly what purpose is about one thing that I want you to realize is that in most cases whenever you don't get your dream it actually leads you to your purpose what I mean by this is that there were times where you failed at something something that you really wanted so bad and in that failure some people decide to get resentful either to the people around them either to whoever they start blaming they start being so bitter and frustrated about the whole thing but if you look carefully in that situation it's some kind of a redirection it redirects you to your purpose and if you are very sensitive to this kind of things you will see that you would be able now you would be able and in that in, the, in that fail the dream it, it, it was some kind of a lesson that you need for your purpose that lesson you need for your purpose and in you in you fulfilling or you going through your purpose you're going this person that is going to help other people to not go through the same pain that you endured you enduring that pain of a failed dream was actually a useful tool that you're gonna need while you are pursuing your purpose 
because somehow you're gonna save somebody in the future you're gonna save your children you're gonna save your colleagues you're gonna save your marriage your society so that they don't go they don't they don't go through the same thing that you went through because of your experience of that failed dream the thing with a failed dream is that whenever a dream fails like I said find a power in that frustration find power in that frustration ask yourself how can i use this how can i use this? how can i benefit in this in that way you would be able to realize what you are born for who you are what are you capable of how strong you are and as far as i'm concerned i've learned that the most painful moments that i've heard in my journey of life so far are the very moments that have taught me that have gave me like the life lessons the most valuable lessons the very rudimentary uh, uh, um, um, you know message package that is actually some some kind of a fuel that i'm using right now while i'm working in my purpose so whenever a dream fail or whenever something that you really uh, valued does not go the way that you plan it to go it redirects you to your destiny and you if you're a very careful person if you're a person that is willing to learn if you're a person that is eager you know to to grab some 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 lesson from life if you are this person that is willing to squeeze some juice in every situation you'd be able to value that moment you would be able to ask yourself how how how, 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 how can I how can I serve some purpose you know how can, how can how can I use this to serve a greater purpose and that's exactly what I did and right now I'm just ha I don't know how to explain what I am but yo I'm telling you I'm living my purpose I'm living my purpose in capital letters Whether it's painful or sweet or mild, whichever state it is in, you should learn that it supports us. It supports our destiny. It supports who we are, what we are born for, where we are supposed to go. It's leading us. It's redirecting us to our real true selves, to our real true purpose of life. Yes. So sometimes not getting your dream really gives you what you really want, what you really need, what you're destined for. And that's a great thing. That's a great thing. And uh, people should learn to know or to have a deeper connection with ourselves. Because when things happen and when you're di redirected, to what you actually are born for you would feel it inside of you you would be able to distinguish that is this is what i really needed you would feel a different kind of energy an energy that is accompanied with love you would love the idea of that thing even before you started unlike the dream that you wanted which maybe was not giving you the same feeling of fulfillment, the same feeling, you know, that you didn't have that love. It didn't have that thing. Yes. So sometimes not getting your dream really gives you what you really want, what you really need, what you're destined for. And that's a great thing. That's a great thing and uh, people should learn to know or to have a deeper connection with ourselves. Because when things happen and when you're redirected to what you actually are born for, you would feel it inside of you. You would be able to distinguish that is, this is what I really needed you would feel a different kind of energy an energy that is accompanied with love you would love the idea of that thing even before you started 
unlike the dream that you wanted which maybe was not giving you the same feeling of fulfillment the same feeling you know that you didn't have that love it didn't have that thing yes 